Hello guys and welcome. Today I will show you a movie called Villains. Spoilers ahead. The movie starts with two lovers Mickey and Jules robbing a gas station. Mickey points a gun at the cashier who faints due to fear. As Mickey is trying to open the register it's locked so Jules hands him a snack to buy so he can open the register and get the money. After that the two are heading to Florida to get away. As they are going their car quickly runs out of gas, and stops in the middle of the road. They decide to sit around and come up with ideas until they can a solution. As they are talking they notice a mailbox near them and decide to to the house. After a while they come across the house. They start to break in and Mickey sees that the front door is dead bolted shut so Jules hands him a crowbar and they break in. Mickey and Jules start to search the place for gas. They couldn't find any so they snort cocaine, to think better. Then Mickey gets the idea to siphon gas from the homeowner's car and carry it with them to their car. They go to the basement to look for a hose, but they end up finding a little girl chained to the floor. After witnessing that the two decide to help the little girl. The two run back up to the kitchen to find tools to free the girls but are caught by the homeowners, a couple named George and Gloria. Mickey then aims his gun at them, in fear but George seems calm and attempts to defuse the situation. George then finds out that they are trying to free the girl. George suggests that Mickey and Jules take what they want and get out of there so that the police aren't involved, but Mickey makes it clear they are not leaving without the girl. The couple then bring back some tools to the basement. George frees the little girl. But when Mickey tried to talk to the girl standing near her, she bites his wrist, and George knocks Mickey out with a headbutt. Mickey wakes up tied to a bed with Gloria attempting to seduce him, though she creeps him out by playing up a mommy role. She also shows him pictures of her son that she calls Ethan. Meanwhile, Jules is tied in the basement with the little girl. She tries talking to the girl, but she just stays quiet. After a while Jules tells the girl that her parents abandoned her when she was a child. Mickey then pretends to give in to Gloria's seduction and asks her to uncuff him and when she does he threw her to the ground. Mickey then runs to the door but is stopped by George who shot with his gun. He forces Mickey to go to the basement and ties him up with Jules. Mickey and Jules now reunited again plan their escape. Mickey then remembers that Jules has a tongue stud and tries to convince her to take it out so that he can use it to pick the lock since he good at that that. Jules first hesitates since it will hurt, but with Mickey's help, they are able to pull it out. He manages to free Jules first, but when she tries to get his cuffs, the stud breaks and gets stuck inside. After that, Jules goes upstairs through the laundry tunnel to try and find another way to help Mickey. George comes down and sees that Jules is gone, and he threatens to kill Mickey to get him to talk. He quickly says that Jules went somewhere to meet Mickey, and if he doesn't show up in time, she will call the cops. George believes him and frees him to take him outside. As they reach for the front door with Mickey at gunpoint, Jules overhears them talking and comes out from upstairs with Ethan, who is just a doll that Gloria has a deep attachment to. Jules threatens to drop Ethan on the ground unless George lets Mickey go. Gloria instead grabs George's gun and shoots at Jules in anger, which she missed and causes Jules to drop Ethan, which shatters all over the ground. Gloria tearfully tries to piece the doll back together and George keeps Mickey and Jules hostage. George and Gloria tie Mickey and Jules to chairs as they are ready for dinner, with Gloria preparing a pie. Mickey and Jules eat the food and ask about the little girl downstairs. George explains that she was kidnapped since Gloria is barren and couldn't have of kids, however, she couldn't see the little girl as her own child, so she ordered George to get rid of her. He views her being captive in the basement as a form of mercy. Mickey and Jules then start to feel dizzy, and George reveals that they just ate excess amount of pills to knock them out before George plans to overdose them with heroin and make it look like they are just two junkies who broke in and died there. The plan is then interrupted when a cop rings the door, as Mickey and Jules's car was found abandoned near the area of the gas station robbery. George tells the cop that everything is fine, but the cop becomes suspicious and insists coming in when he sees the broken door. George unhappily lets the cop in. Gloria has moved Mickey and Jules away in their gym to keep them hidden from the cop. The officer then goes down to the basement and finds nothing. George prepares to shoot him but he is called back outside by his radio. Jules manages to wake up from the dose and get cocaine for herself and Mickey to get them back on their feet. They trick George and Gloria into thinking they ran away by hiding inside the house. They later come out of hiding after the owners head out to find them. While walking in the woods, Gloria admits she would rather forget about Mickey and Jules and just carry on with their lives by going on a trip. Meanwhile, Mickey and Jules prepare to take George and Gloria's car, but they end up agreeing to free the little girl. George and Gloria have returned home to find that their keys are gone, and so is the little girl. 
George hears the garage door opening, and heads to the front door before Mickey and Jules can get away. He holds his gun at them and orders them to step out of the car. Mickey tells Jules he loves her right before he hits the gas and runs George over. Unfortunately, Mickey gets shot in the chest. He has a brief final moment with Jules then he dies. Jules cries over before George pulls her out and tries to strangle her. He is stopped when the little girl steps out the car and grabs his gun. He tried to talk her into giving him the gun, but she shoots him in the head. Gloria then comes outside with luggage ready for the trip before she sees George's body. She finally has a full mental breakdown and tries to wake George. Jules then spares Gloria. The little girl finally talks and says she will go with Jules. The girls walk until they are picked up by a stranger, and she takes them to Florida.